Hello and welcome back to Rev Mode Plays Elite Dangerous. Here we are at the Sternberg platform and the Teorge system where we left off the last video. We're uh, going to carry on with our exploration of the Elite Dangerous universe. We've uh, got the Elite Dangerous database fired up. I've uh, got our first trading route put in. I've just realised that I've already been into the uh, route planner and plan the route without buying uh, the commodity going to the commodities market first and buying what we're supposed to be uh, carrying so we're supposed to be buying some tantalum which I suppose it'll either be a metal or tantalum there we go right. fill up our cargo hold with that Right, let's come out of there, let's go back to the navigation, into the galaxy map. Right, we are supposed to be taking this to M, uh, M Hydrate. Fastest route, yep, we can still make it there even with the cargo on. Uh, it's going to be five jumps. So that's everything set up, that's just cargo on, the route in. So let's launch and get on his way, see how we get on this time. See how many people decide to come along and try and shoot us. Yeah, because I thought I may as well carry on uh, just doing the trade runs because the uh, the latest community goal is purely a combat one, which as if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm uh, not the greatest combat pilot in the world. So there's not much point in uh, getting involved with that. So I may as well uh, just carry on with my trade routes and try to build up some cash. work my way up to uh, my next ship which is probably going to be a type 6 and I can do even more trading until of course next week when I get sidetracked by the horizons update coming out and we're, uh, we all get a chance to start doing planetary landings Scan this there on the way through. All right, where are we jumping to next? There we go. So let's lock that one up. I'm not going to bother scattering uh, the entire, going out and uh, doing every unknown object in the system, but may as well uh, do the main stars as I'm travelling through. Oh, I suppose I could do one unexplored in each system as I go through it. Drive charging. Four, three, two, 
Critical, we only go up to eighty three per cent. Jump into the destination system next. Frameship drive charging. Okay, so where are we looking for in this place? We are looking for Maxwell Dock. Uh, no, right, you're on directly the other side of the star, so. Just do a quick hop over the top of this here star. Bringing the nose down again. Hopefully that should have cleared us. There we go. Not very far from the jumping point at all, this station. without being hassled. Drop out of frame shift drive. different looking station. Scan detected. 
We've been scanned, but we've got no, not an illicit cargo we've got on, so we should be okay. Yeah, authorities are happy with us. Yeah, we're right down the front of the uh, station again. So, get ready for one of my dodgy takeoffs. first let's offload the cargo right. refuel it all just check on the repairs yeah we're all okay bit of damage to the paintwork but I can live with that uh, no outstanding finds. Uh, have a look at the shipyard. See what the uh, what the prices are like here. Stand back scout there, which is actually the next ship in line for us, and we can't actually afford it outright. And then obviously the Type 6. Uh, sorry, no, we can't afford it. We'd have to chop in the... Uh, chop in what we got, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't know whether to go with... if, I, if I'm, When I'm looking, I've got enough money for the next ship, whether to go with a Diamondback Scout. And so I used to fly a Diamondback Explorer, and I really liked that. But obviously, uh, I was doing more exploration then, whereas I'm doing a lot more trading now. So probably best off going uh, for the trading ships. I know they're not exactly the best things in the world in combat, which is a bit of a pain at the minute because, like I say, you do seem to be getting interdicted by NPCs an awful lot more at the minute. But uh, then we'll have to see. Yeah. Then obviously, then you down back explorer, and then the asp. Uh, the outfitters now, I'm not going to bother with the outfitters just a minute because we need all the, uh, we need us money for buying cargoes at the minute so what we after this time, what we're we picking up from here, we are picking up personal weapons. Let's run a few guns. Right, and where are we taking them to? We're taking them to the Fulmer system. Oh, right, yep. Oh, that's a fair distance away. It's only six jumps, seem further than that for some reason. Okay, so is there anything on that? In fact, just check out this side modules. Yeah, we're power. Oh, yeah, we've got more than enough power. We've got everything. We've got everything set up, haven't we? Everything's firing yet. Yeah, the fire groups. Yeah, we definitely got the cargo on. So let's get on our way. See if I can get out of this station without uh, crashing into anything.
Okay, let's get out of there, okay. Always helps when you're at a quieter station. Addicted. People saying they're after NPCs playing saying they're after what's in my hole, so Yep, we are definitely getting interdicted. Competent in a Cobra as well, same as us. Come on, where are you? There you are. Get the shields down. He's starting to do damage to his hole now. to go and drop off it drop into Sterling City won't we? Sterling City just to claim this bounty and then we'll get back to his journey. Illicit cargo for this system, so hopefully, we won't get scammed coming in here.
do I do this or do I just carry on my way and pick it up if I come back through this way? No. Yeah. Ah, well, here we go. We're nearly there now, anyway. So let's get in and uh, we'll go in and claim this bounty. And let's slow down before we go hurtling past this station. Power systems back up for normal cruising rather than combat. Somebody scanned that to uh, planet then. Or should I say proximity detected that planet. Another friendly station. So must have been through this way before. Just a bit worrying that it seems to be an awful lot like the uh, pirate and uh, the more unsavoury people. Uh, groups stations that I seem to be friendly with Took any damage? No, we're okay. So let's just make sure we're locked in for going where we're supposed to be going. Let's get on his way.
I'll tell you what I did forget to do at the last station was uh, check see if I had any uh, cartographical data to sell. Oh well. Make sure I remember to do it at the uh, next one when we, when we get to uh, Anderson Station in the Falmer system. charging. Okay, so up above this start, a bit of a fuel scoop as well as we're going through. Are looking for what we're looking for Anderson Station in this one. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
of a fuel scoop on the way through. A very little bit of a fuel scoop on the way through. Few contacts popping in and out on the uh, scanner. Got a nice quiet run into this one. Just the way we like it. And we're down safe and sound. Right, so offload, off, offload the cargo once I can speak again. Definitely can't repair because it's not available. Just make sure we've got no fines here. Alright, so what we're buying here, we are buying gallium. I'm forgetting universal cartographers again. Get all that sold. Right, into navigation. Where are we off to next? We're off to the Latena system next. Eight 
jumps this time. This is a bit of a longer run is this one, so we've got everything on board, so let's get on the way. Sixty six of Virginia, eh? Frameship drive charging. charging. Warning. Temperature critical. Yeah, I'll give you that one. We're, we're up to 98% there. Well, we must have got him fairly close because the uh, fuel scoop had deployed.
so I've obviously not been through this little uh, segment of space before having all these uh, unexplored stars when I'm jumping in charging. glanced up when I, the blue of the uh, jump was just starting there I thought we were getting interdicted for a second about halfway so hopefully we'll be all right uh, said we was going to be all right the navigation uh, the galaxy map said we could make it okay without having to refuel so hopefully it wasn't lying Oh, no, there you go, we're jumping into his destination system. Frameship drive charging. for Crayapelling Dock this time, there we go another one nice and close to his jumping point which is always nice
Also been nice and quiet since that last interdiction. I wonder if that was because I was carrying uh, personal weapons. I wonder if that's why I was interdicted that time. Had a cargo hold full of guns, so uh, somebody decided they wanted to liberate them from me. suddenly appeared right in front of us and now he's shooting at me Get back in with Cobra. Total cost will be 79,931. I'd have to take out a bit of a loan then, would I? So, I need a oh, fine, zero. Okay. So was that a human commander that just took me out there? Commander, was that commander attack, attack or was it an NPC again? Uh, yeah, no. In fact, can't he still? No. Hmm. Yeah, so I've lost my cargo. bit of a bummer. Right then, so where are we at? So we're under station in the Fallen system. So we've gone back, haven't we? Yeah. So let's get the up, 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 um, the gallium again. This gallium we're after, isn't it? Yep. Can't afford it, we've only got a thousand credits. Ah, well done. Yep, got a thousand credits. Okay then. So, on that note, I think we'll... Uh, Call it a day here after uh, losing our ship there. So we'll, uh, I think I'll end this video here. So, once again, thank you for joining me on my exploration of the Elite Dangerous Universe. And I hope you'll join me again next time when Rev Modes plays Elite Dangerous. <laughs>